fast, you know, sort of flash forward a number of years post 9-11, and 9-11 um, happened, and the Muslim registration happened, and the Bangladeshi community and many of the Muslim communities were very, very hard hit during this period. And I started thinking about those girls, those boys that I had interviewed, those young people. And I was thinking of writing more nonfiction about it when it really hit me that what I wanted to do was write fiction to kind of get inside of the heads of those experiences, these invisible teenagers, um, many of them undocumented and uh, not really clear if they were going to be able to stay or go or where they belonged given what was swirling around in the post 9 11 period. Um, so that became Ask Me No Questions. Then Abba began working as a waiter in a restaurant on East 6th Street in Manhattan. 6th Street is lined with ABA restaurants, each a narrow basement room painted in bright colors and strung with lights, some guy playing sitar in the window. They're run by Bangladeshis, but they serve all the same Indian food, chicken tandoori and biryani, what the Americans like. Every night, Abba brought home wads of dollars that Ma collected in a silk bag she bought in Chinatown. The thing is, we've always lived this way, floating, not sure where we belong. In the beginning, we lived so that we could pack up any day, fold up all our belongings into the same nylon suitcases. Then over time, Abba relaxed. We bought things, a fold-out sofa where Ma and Abba could sleep, a TV and a VCR, a table and a rice cooker, yellow ruffle curtains and clay pots for the chili pepper pine bookcase for Aisha's math and chemistry books. Soon, it was like we were living in a dream of a home. Year after year, we went on not thinking about Abba's expired passport in the dresser drawer, or how the heat and the phone bills were in a second cousin's name. You forget, you forget, you don't really exist here, that this really isn't your home. One day, we said, we get the paperwork right. In the meantime, we kept going. It happened. 